This is a quick tutorial to show you how to bake a light map texture using Blender and then use it in your 3GS scene. It's a little bit of an advanced tutorial, so I'm not going to go over the basics of Blender and UV and wrapping, 3D modeling and so on. It's just about the baking process. And at the end of the video, I'll tell you a little bit more about uh, the use in 3GS and why you might want to use a light map texture. So let's dive right in. This is a little room that I've made in Blender with two lights, one for the lamp here and one for the sun outside. And I have a bunch of objects that I want to merge into a single object before baking as it's going to reduce the little bugs that Blender has sometimes. So, but before joining the mesh together, I need to create a new image that I'm uh, going to call a light map. Uh, the resolution 1K is fine. Default color can be black or white, doesn't matter so much. And the type is has to be 32-bit float because we want to generate an HDR image, not a PNG one. So this is very important to check, and I'm going to show you at the end of the, the video, the difference between uh, the HDR and the PNG version. Uh, click OK. Here I just uh, am going to connect a UV map that I've already made for my ambient occlusion. But you could create a new set of UV map just for your light map, as 3GS supports multiple set of UV now. But me, I'm just going to go ahead and use uh, the unwrap that I've made for the ambient occlusion. You don't need to connect the light map texture to any node anyway. It's not going to be uh, recognized by the GLTF exporter. You have to connect the light map manually by code at the end. Uh, so now we're just creating that node to generate the image. Uh, the color space is also important, but now I'm just going to select non color. And again, at the end of the video, I'll give you more details on the difference of the color space options. Uh, so you want to create this light map image on all the objects you're going to merge together. And so you want to make sure to connect the UV and select the light map node on all your object. That's very important before the merging. Trust me, this is going to save you some precious time to make sure you have selected the light map node before the merging. All right, so now we have, I, I didn't select the window because I don't want to beg for the window object, but anyway. I'm selecting all my objects and the light map node is selected on all the objects so now i can go in my menu and join all the objects together so now i have a single object i can move in my baking collection just for the, the sake of organization mm. now all i need to do is go to my render uh, tab select uh, my sample size could be 24 and 24 should be enough and in the back menu here you want to select the diffuse back type and direct and indirect contributions and output is your image texture that you selected and now you can click on Bake. I'm just going to select the light map texture here to see the result. It's actually light map 001. Okay, bake. So now you can save your image. Save as. And you want to make sure the file format is a Radiance HDR, not PNG. We want an HDR file format. And the color space is non color. And there you have your light map texture. Now that you know how to bake a light map texture in Blender, it's time to talk a little bit about uh, 3GS and why you might want to use a light map texture. So the reason why I made this video is uh, I think uh, light map is very often 
underappreciated because they really bring you realism to your scenes and you could recreate this effect with the 3GS lighting system before I would just you know use like a direction light here but uh, personally baking the file in blender just yields better results and it's lighter depending on how you use it i mean obviously if you're using the dynamic light with the dynamic shadow it's very heavy you could bake in uh, 3gs but it's just it's a hassle to set up your lights correctly but in better you have like you know an editor and it's just it's just easier to bake lights in my opinion and then like i said before you have a very important uh, setting to select is when you are creating your image in blender you have to select the 32-bit float to create a, an actual hdr image otherwise it's just going to create like a, a png even if you save as an hdr it's, it's going to be a fake hdr without the accurate like color and when you change the exposure or the intensity of light, your light map it's not going to work well so you want a, a real hdr and you can see here if i select the png version it's the color are all washed out and that's also for me one of the reasons why i didn't use lightmap for quite a while when i was learning 3gs like a few years ago it's because i always thought that the result wasn't so good but the the key here is to use hdr and then as for the color space you have different options too but some of them will look you know all washed out a little bit like the png does so for me non-color works well or linear it's same for you know normally your ambient occlusion uh, or metallic uh, uh, metalness or roughness map should all be non-color. Uh, as for the resolution here, you can also see the difference between you know 2K, 1K, 512. Here, obviously, the shadow will be a little bit less uh, nice, but uh, you know also the file size would be much lower. So depending on your project, if you want to optimize your scene further, you might want to have a smaller resolution and. So yeah, yield a pretty good result, I believe, as it's just, you know, shadow and light, so the, the resolution of the texture is not really important, as long as, for example, your wood here has a good resolution, you know, the shadow is a bit less important, in my opinion. Anyway, this is a, um, this was a quick video. I'm hoping to make a little bit more of the, this style of videos. Where I just you know explain some new things that I've uh, discovered before. I don't want to spend weeks of editing videos, and at the end of the day, I don't release anything. So I just prefer to you know, try new approach.